So I had to find uh, more than one copy of Power Play Hockey and that means I have actually had to try it on the emulator but I had the sound turned off for a specific reason. This is a 1988 Electronic Arts game and the sound is actually done by Rob Hubbard. Well I presume the music, I'm not sure. Like I said, I had the sound turned off. Now there is a problem with this game and uh, I would never have bought this game or been happy with it as a gift and when I say never bought it uh, I say that because we were actually you know quite friendly with a guy who owned the uh, computer shop that also sold like hi-fis and VCRs stuff like that um, and uh, he did allow us to load up games Possibly because uh, we were nice to his son, who was about our age, maybe like a few years younger. Uh, but he was definitely into playing computer games, and uh, you know, he was he quite liked the C64. So we used to ask him. He'd ask his dad. His dad would load up something like Where of the Exploding Fist. We'd be either blown away, as is, was the case with Exploding Fist. Or well, we just decided, nah, it's not for us, but thanks for loading it up. And yeah, they're all quite nice about it. This is like the worst hub bar tune ever. Is that it? Was Rob Hubbard in a coma? And they just put his uh, hands on the keyboard while he's in a coma you know, some sort of con weird contractual thing. And uh, and that's how this got made, is it? It's like the worst of our tune ever, mate. Pathetic. Well, I tried uh, Junior last time, which I presume is just a difficulty level. Uh, but there was a problem with the game itself. single joystick so I'm going to have to play USSR simply because I can't be bothered to swap the joystick to port 1 which then accidentally if you press down on the SD to IC file browser will reset the C64 that's very annoying I'm going to go have 2 minutes because if there is that problem again right here we go Jesus Christ I could have played the game two minute game by now I'm pretty sure I'm the red ones now there doesn't appear to be any way to change your character that you control perhaps if the ball accidentally hits him but even so I think I've just gone off the screen see I'm the dark red one my guys are light red and along with me in dark red So you can't actually change which character you control. And I'll press space and held down fire and all that crap. So if you're stuck on the wrong side of the pitch trying to catch them up. Yeah, even then I can't actually control the guy who's got the ball. So what happens when it's a bloody goalie then? It's a terrible game. Imagine if this was a football game and you only ever controlled one guy. And you can't control the, uh, directly control the other players in your team or the goalie. All of those are done by the uh, computer uh, AI. Although it's not really AI because it's a dumb idea to do it this way. So this is just terrible. It's not like it's impossible. It's a shame because the rest of the game might, might actually be quite fun. But even as a two-player game, that makes it quite, you know, useless, really. So it's really, it is just a one-on-one -on -one game, really. Because there's no way for me to do anything when uh, my other team members get the ball unless it's the one character that I'm stuck controlling which is the equivalent of the forward 
So I don't get like a penalty for that. But I do get a penalty for doing something called icing. Oh, bloody no, mate. See, I'm looking at my guys following the ball under AI. And I'm pressing that way. And he's not actually moving because I'm off the screen. He's just really dumb. I've seen enough of this game. Just, uh, just forget about this. Blades of Steel. Which is the only other hockey game that looks like it's not written in basic. Will never work on the SD to ICR unless someone cracks it properly. 